Good evening, all. Good evening, ma'am. Let's uh, start today's session. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. So I hope everybody is doing well and you are done with your exams. Is it still going on or uh, it's finished? Finished, ma'am. Finished. Okay. So today I just wish to give you a, a what to do. I forgot the team, an activity, a game. It's not something study, uh, but there's many things to study today. But through an activity, through a game, we are going to learn today. Done. So for this, first I want you to just keep your hands up. Raise your hands, both hands. Let me see your hands. Okay, everybody, done? clear so you can keep it down now or you can just uh, tie your hands like this and let me see that you're not doing anything because this is a game that is related to listening skills testing your listening skills which means that you should not write anything while I am telling you something when I ask you to say this back to me you should say repeat you should repeat it and uh, no cheating. Okay. So while I am telling you the content, you should listen very carefully. There are certain numbers. There are certain dates, everything. So to make sure that you're not cheating me, you have to raise your hands like this. Everybody. Raise your hands now. Okay. Don't worry, I will repeat it to, twice. Rohan, keep on raising your hands till we finish. Both hands. Okay. So listen carefully. Done. Mr. Martin ordered 70 petals rose flowers, not 80 petals jasmine which will arrive on 27 8 2020 not on 25th 9 2020 okay now you can keep your hands down no issues keep your hands down i will repeat mr martin ordered 70 petals rose flowers not 80 petal jasmine which will arrive on 27th 8 2020 not on 25th 9 2020 just yes. it's your turn to say the same content back to me who is gonna practice first could you remember at least one word Martin. One, Mr. Martin. Okay. Ordered. Ordered. Seventy uh, rose petals. Ah, seventy petal rose and seventy rose petals, which is entirely different. There are roses with different size of petals, numbers of petals. That's what Mr. Martin ordered. Martin anyway, ordered yeah. Ordered seven petals of rose. Okay. Martin ordered seventeen petals of rose, and. Mm -hmm. 18 petals of may, may I know who is talking here? I can't, I Nabil. can only okay, Nabil. Yes, Martin ordered 17 petals of rose and 18 petals of jasmine. Okay, <laughs> then what happened? It will, it will arrive on 27. Uh huh, then you don't know. Then you don't know. Fine, at Thank least you, you remembered this much. Great. Okay. Uh, yes. Who is taking the next Eva. child? Eva. All right, Eva. Mr. Martin um, got 70 petal rose, not 80 petal jasmine, <laughs> uh, which will arrive on 27. Uh -huh. 
मार्टिन Okay. Seventeen petals of roses. Mm hmm. Not eighteen. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Jasmine. Mm hmm. And to arrive. Mm hmm. See, 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 see. Rachel Bobbin is simply writing. Are you writing, Rachel? No. You're simply trying to remember. Okay. Yes. Well, yes, Raya. You can continue. On twenty seven seven twenty twenty, mm. not on twenty eight nine twenty twenty. Hmm. It's okay. Fine. Adjustable. Who else? You like to take a trial, Rachel? Huh? Ma'am, uh, Mr. Martin uh, bought. Uh, see, 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 see. Wait, 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 wait. I wanted you people to uh, practice not only this content, memorizing and saying, speaking, yes, but also the right sounds. Okay, ma'am. Hmm? Uh, he bought um, eight uh, seventy petals of rose and not uh, eighty petals of jasmine. Uh -huh. uh, it will arrive at twenty seven. Uh huh. Uh, seven twenty twenty. Not mm -hmm. arrive at uh, mm -hmm. twenty. Hmm. Five. Hmm. Mm. Twenty five nine twenty uh. twenty. Okay. Good. So should I Thank test you. more more people here today? Hmm. Should I test more people here, or can I tell you something? Is this uh, the way that you're listening to your classes every day when other teachers are teaching you? Hmm? This is a simple game, and to just show you that how well is your listening skill and how good is your concentration. Do you want to improve it? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. If yes. you could improve your concentration and listening skills, certainly you can score a high marks every exams. Okay, it would help not only in your academics but also when you are employed, when you are into any corporate sector or any other professional way level, you would simply win your job and your career easily. Okay. So start working on this. Improve your concentration. To do this, you can initially start with uh, scribbling points, important points. Hmm? You can start with scribbling important points, and uh, after that, you should start to you know avoid using pen and paper, and also practice with your memory. Done. So let's do another game. It's not simply a game. This is something that I'm going to teach you. Here, what you have to do is whatever the words I'm using here, you must remember with the right pronunciation, with the right tone. Hmm? Perfect. It's a very silly story of two monkeys and one crocodile who found something. All right. So here it is like. I have written certain words here, which you can use as a resource for memorizing the story I'm telling you now. Okay, you can use it as a resource. Oh my God, it's gone! Thank God, it was there. Uh, no. Yes, I was about to curse myself, otherwise I'll have to write the whole content again. 
uh, you can see these words here, which I'll be repeating many times throughout the story. Hmm? What you have to do is listen this carefully. During your repetition, you have to pronounce these words in the right tone, right accent, two things. Plus, you have to say the story somehow related to what I'm saying. All right, but use these words. So it is starting with yeah. once, Can yes. Can you change the, um, the ring? It is sorry. Ma'am, can you change the return thing? I it is not. Ma'am, can you move yeah. the? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right. So as as usual, just like we tell every stories, it starts with the same phrase. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, there was a river. Sorry, I, I made a mistake. Once upon a time, there was a forest. There was a forest. forest. Is it Ra? Forest. 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 Okay. And there was a river flowing through the forest. There was a river flowing through the forest. And on the banks of the forest river, uh, at the banks of the river, there was a huge mango tree. There was a huge mango tree near the river. And there were two monkeys staying. There was two monkeys living on the tree. They were very close friends. Also, they had a very close friend in the river too. In the river, they had a close friend. That was a crocodile. That was a crocodile. Okay? So remember the pronunciation importantly. That is the most important thing other than anything. Okay? And this, this crocodile used to have good fun time with these monkeys. And they used to chat for a long time every day. They used to chat for a long time every day. Mm -hmm. And what happened? One day, these monkeys found a huge pumpkin flowing through the river. They asked the crocodile to go swim quickly, grab the pumpkin. They asked the crocodile to go swim quickly and grab the pumpkin that's it a very simple story okay this is not the complete story i will tell okay. you it later if you are really interested to listen this is for the small kids so here starts your duty to uh, memorize i mean i mean recall from your memory you can use these key phrases, key points, which you're seeing on the board and speak out. Who will give a first attempt? Ma'am, once yes. upon a time. Once upon a time. Who's that? Fizan? Louder, louder. Once upon a time, there was a, for there was a forest. Okay. And near the river. Okay. Uh, a, a huge, a huge mango tree. Okay. Uh, top, top of, top of the tree. Mm -hmm. uh, two mon two monkeys. Mm -hmm. Two monkeys. Uh, found something. Uh, found uh, uh, two monkeys. Found something. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 just just hold on, Fizan. I am giving the chance to the friends to assess your assess Fizan's performance today. I'm not going to assess him. Iwa, Nabil, and 
Roshan, Rohan, Rachel, and Raya is going to assess Fizan. Whatever he is missing from the story, you must point out. And you have to judge him. Clear? Yes, Fizan, you can carry on now. You can start. Uh, uh, they found uh, something on the river flowing, a uh, huge pumpkin. Mm -hmm. uh, a crocodile swim quickly. Okay. Grab the, grab the pumpkin. Called his friends. Uh, greedy, greedy fox. Enough. I didn't tell that part. I, I didn't reach that part. Okay. Thank you, Fizan. Yes, it's your turn, Nabil, to assess, to judge, come up with your feedback. He didn't say something about them. The story. What? Is what for is close friends? Close friends. Okay, he yeah, him. he missed out the crocodile part. Hmm? And he didn't say that the the monkeys were asking the crocodile. He didn't say that. Oh, okay. Then Fizan, that's what your friend's observation about your performance. Do you agree with that, Fizan? He's down. He's lost. Anyway, so just uh, Eva, do you join the discussion by giving your feedback? Could you? Hmm? What do you think about it? What do you think about Nabil's opinion? Uh, it was correct. Mm -hmm. uh, he did not talk about the crocodile. He did not talk about the crocodile. Okay. Uh, and um, he did not tell that they were close friends. Mm -hmm. The monkey was close friends. Mm -hmm. Then, um, he not set up the river which is flow, a bank of the river, there was a huge mango tree. Mango tree. Okay, fine. And uh, can I point out something that you did not, uh, both of you did not point out, that what did they used to do every day? Like uh, they had a good fun chat time chat every day for yeah. long hours yes so now i think you are all ready to uh, speak the story hmm? who is going to do first just raise your hand now or yeah tell me your names who's going to talk first would you like to nabil yes ma'am could you try yes Yes, give it a try. Once, a fo once in a forest, there was a flowing river. Mm -hmm. In the river bank, there's a huge mango tree. Mm -hmm. At the top of the tree, there was two monkeys. Those okay. were close friends. Okay. And but those... Nabil, 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 I'm missing this tone and this pronunciation part, the sounds, everything is not up to the mark. Uh, in the river, there is a crocodile. Mm -hmm. There's also a crocodile. Mm -hmm. The monkeys found a huge pumpkin okay. in the river. Mm -hmm. They asked the they asked the crocodile to grab mm -hmm. the pumpkin. Okay. Swim to set the crocodile to swim quickly to grab the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. That much no. All right. Okay, who want to criticize Nabi? And he yes. said that every day that crocodile and the monkey is chatting. Ah, even though he point out this mistake, this missing part when Fizan was talking, but he missed that part also. So this is usually happening. And if you try, what's your name? What's your name? Roshan. Roshan, yeah, Roshan. Yes, Roshan, you give it a try. Once upon a time, there was a forest. Mm -hmm. the forest, there is a river flowing. On, mm -hmm. the bank of the mango, on the bank of the river, there was a mango tree. On uh -huh. the, the tree, there was two monkeys. They were uh -huh. And in the, in the river, there was one crocodile. Mm -hmm. They used to have a chat. Mm -hmm. They found something in the river. Mm -hmm. 
it was a huge pumpkin mm -hmm. monkeys asked the crocodile to swim quickly and grab the pumpkin wow good good memory roshan i think we had a fight last week right yes, i'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry for fighting with you. Okay. Anyway, that was uh, 99%. I would say 95% that was right. Okay. Thank you very much for the improvement. But I would say all of your accent is very poor. Hmm? So when you listen, it's not only for the content you should listen. It's not only for the idea this you should listen. You should listen for the accent as well. Hmm? Okay, done. Would you do that in, in next time onwards, Rachel? Yes, Everybody? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma uh, Eva. Yes, hmm? ma this uh, this phonetics part, I would say the pronunciation part and the tone you have to maintain. I'm not saying that you have to repeat in the exact the same tone I'm doing. But you have to manage some uh, good tone every day, every time, because you are in ninth standard now. Hmm? So <clears throat> do this. And um, I really need to do one more activity. You know, every day I want you to listen one listening file. But this board is not having that facility to do this from here in the classroom. So if I send one file to your uh, WhatsApp group, Will you listen and answer the questions which is given in that one? Yes, ma'am. Could yes. you do that? Yes, that yes, would be a really a good step to improve because once you listen carefully, many times, it's not only one time you need to listen, you need to listen many times till you can get something from that. I mean, in terms of pronunciation, in terms of your changing your tone and also connecting words together, which means improving your speed, adjusting your speed of talking. Got it. So yes, I'll be giving you guidelines how you have to carry on with that. All right. This is with standard 9B, 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 because I need to see a lot of improvement in you. You're a lot of uh, lagging, seriously. So 9B, listening activity. Don't think that I will send it tonight. I need to cook after going from here. So tomorrow, you can expect it tomorrow. And I need your works done back within 48 hours after you receive it. Clear? Okay, ma'am. See you. Bye-bye. Yes, Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. That was pretty good, right? Today I was pretty good. Not, no yes, fights. Yes, no. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. See you next week. Have a good week ahead. Bye-bye. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.